So today we're going to look at charging the monster box with the ultra power charger. Um, for this example, we're using four zippies. So we're going to connect up the charger to the board now. Um, first off, before we do anything, you don't want your charger really plugged in. It can sometimes cause spark backs through the balance lead. So you're going to get your charger in a good position. I usually like to sit it on top of the monster box. And then to start with, I'll just do channel by channel. So I'll make sure I've got charge lead from channel one, adapter plate from channel one. Plug that into the battery port on the top of the monster box. And then we know that this port correlates to these two balance leads here. <clears throat> then I'm going to get my balance lead extenders. I want to plug these in first because these are obviously attached to your battery and a lot more difficult to replace. So you want to put any strain on the extenders rather than that balance lead. So plug both of these in. And then on the balance plate you've got 6S plus 6S. That's the ports that we're going to use here. Plug both of those in. Uh, we're just going to set up exactly the same on the other side on channel 2 and then we're ready to plug in the charger and uh, start setting up to ready to charge. I need a fucking ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the charger on, you'll see channels 1, channels 2. It will display cell voltages um, and you'll get some information there. If you want to know more about that, check out our other video on the charger itself. So once all that's good, you just hold down the channel that you want to start charging. You'll hear it beep, you'll see the red light to confirm that it's charging and you can do that on channel 2 as well. You'll hear the fans kick up as it starts to build up the ampage and it's charging away. When it's finished charging you'll hear a beep, also the lights will turn green. Um, obviously with the four cells we've got in here one channel might be done before the other. Um, when one channel is done you can just press the button to stop it and then it won't be trying to send any more charge to that channel and you can let the other one carry on. But as soon as these both have stopped, I'm going to turn that one off as well. I'm going to flip the main switch to the charger and just let the screen turn off and then I'll remove the kettle lead. Now we can remove all the balance leads and charge cables from the monster box safely. <laughs> just seems a bit weird <laughs> thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed your time here <laughs> <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs>